Hello everyone and welcome back to our continued let's play of the devil in me. My name is Flyers Bar, this is your Gaming channel, and we're picking up with Mark in his bedroom, October 26th at 7.27 p.m. Hey, had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the back, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. <laughs> Uh, joke about the job or Ernest? Uh, let's be Ernest. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. Enthusiastic or reassuring? Uh, uh you look good in any lights, absolutely. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel oh. like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. See, I don't think I played this scene with Moose, so this is all new. Uh, excited. We're hitting the golden owl. Let's go. Hesitant. Um, hesitant. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. Sincere. I like that trait. Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. No... Uh, supportive, you're right. I'm sorry. Serious, this breakup is harder than I thought. Oh, I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. Um, um, serious, go with the heart. Can't, this is just proving harder than I thought. I don't want to be the one to. And I quote, to accept the reality that this did not and will not work. Sound familiar? Just because I said it doesn't mean I want to accept it. So try harder. No. Look, Darn it. Let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> like, I thought supportive would be the better thing to Where say. To? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. You know, as far as uh, supporting. Place? It'll do for now. You like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, just saying. Like I said, I thought it would be better be for relationship, the but the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place uh, for the right. Oh, Whoa, I didn't notice the there, transition. Bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. Can you actually go so back? Since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? No, you can't, okay. Wow, this, this is a lot harder. Now that we've seen that other ending, to, to hear some of this backstory that I missed. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? We did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? 
so maybe we should take care. Probably. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? <laughs> and there's the uh, crowd skipper. Guess not totally alone. Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> Stupid alarm clock. That scared the fuck out of me. I know. Was he the devil? Here's that Morello book. Truth Behind America's First Serial Killer. Since his first book in 2002, Joseph Morello has been fascinated by investigating serial killers and none having tricked him more than H.H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morello examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing, separating fact from fiction to provide evidence about the truth behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? By the way, I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. What's this? There's something here. This huh. takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> Anything else here? Kind of had to let the camera, like, linger on something for a couple seconds. Based on what I saw in the... The, the first part of the second run. So this must have been what Moose was doing while I was trying to find cigarettes. There's a balcony. I don't want to go to the balcony. I want to... Search around here. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old ex- There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. I don't, know, I don't mean to cut you guys off. I, I don't see the, the arrows saying, you know, that we're advancing to a new area. Maybe I should just let them finish talking before I investigate anything. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. There's got to be a way through. Okay, so the key over here was for... Rod is ah. going to set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish. Animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Aha! And then we push this forward. And then we climb up on it. And we go through the other area here. Takes us into the other room. Kind of feels like a... Uh... Keep your head down. What was it? Silent Hill... Origins? When you're going through the uh, prison area? Was it Origins or Homecoming? It might have been Homecoming. Yeah, I think it was Homecoming. Okay, well, that's not creepy at all. Where's that coming from? That right there. Is that... Could you put a camera there? And it does like... There definitely looks like some, some sort of small indentation. But at the same time... This is the outside of the house. Oh, we got a coin? The fiver, right? Yeah, it's fiver. You can tell because it's got pips on it. Okay, that way's locked. 
Go up this ladder. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not one of the paintings, never mind. Um The ladder over there, which means I need to go this way to jump across. Can I jump that? Can't jump that, but you can jump across all the way to the right there. But I need to get the ladder down somehow. I need to get the ladder down, which will allow me to cross over to the left. They really decided to add more uh, puzzle elements to this uh, to this game. And you know what? I'm okay with that because I play a lot of puzzle type games on this channel and to see a puzzle type horror based game is pretty awesome. Okay, I can move this. Oh, I can move it like this. Ah. So what if I move this all the way over here? And now can I jump across these? And then I'll be able to lower the ladder. And then I have to move that again probably to jump across the other area. And then, yeah, I, I think this will work. This should work. Yeah. This should work. You okay in there? I'll be right back. And then we climb down here. And then we just got to put this back the way we found it. There we go. Perfect. And up we go. Bingo. Perfect. Nothing over here. Hard to see that there's a ladder there because of the camera angle. Nothing here. You can do this. But I can go this way. No, 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 no. Ah, there's the key. Bingo. Got it. But we can't leave this way. Yes, we can. Okay, good. Ooh, all right, that saves us some uh, time tripping, 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 trekking back is what I meant to say. Hi. Oh, this is where I heard them otherwise. talking. Oh. Okay. Insistent. Thought we were in a hurry. Encouraging. Courage. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. You do. More romantic. Possessions belonging to victims of H.H. H. Holmes, 
I wonder if that was the ring from the two at the beginning. I mean, he had a lot of rings, so. Okay, check this out. How belong in the homes? Who? H. H. Holmes. Yeah, let's touch a very. Oh my God, she's freaking. You okay? No. Oh. Just, this fucking thing popped out of nowhere. God. <laughs> what? See? Well, what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. <laughs> it did. <laughs> hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. So I wonder if the game automatically has him listed through all this. Uh, we're tired of watching you fight. Empathetic. <sighs> I don't want to see either of these. Mark, listen to me. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Sometimes it's better to say nothing. They still think he owns us, indifferent. That's how directors have to be. Ah. Uh... Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana Entertainment. Supportive or disappointed? Um. Uh, get what I can. Uh, let's be supportive. Good for you. That's that's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Yeah, I like being sincere. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. I still got him fucking Oscar worthy. Disliking you don't know what us. Talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you. I didn't Mark. say anything against Whatever your you. Whatever your future plans may be, right now you work for Lonit Entertainment, and Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host, Charlie. I'm sorry. I didn't. I and didn't bash you at all. Professionals. Yes. I didn't bash you at all. Like I, I was just supporting Kate. Great. There's nothing wrong with Captain, saying. You have a future, and now I don't. Ah. A goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Should have said nothing. Should have just gone with three blank responses. I should have, should have, should have. I know better. Should have done it. A little salty by that. Yep, I'm, I'm just a little bit salty. Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Reassuring, let's all just relax. Concerned. Let's all just relax. Take a deep breath. Let's all just relax. We just sat down. Give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? 
Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what? Why? You saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. Yeah, he sure? can't be. He got out. He must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Angry, uh, reassuring. Be calm. I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. <laughs> this could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. He's got a point. A legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet. And she's got a point. As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you... You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Mm. Oh, God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? <laughs> You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Playful or resentful? Um, keep it lighthearted. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend. Oh, I didn't like that. Shoot. What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. Hostile or enthusiastic? Uh, enthusiastic. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and jamie the two of you do the work of a team of 10. and kate despite our bickering you are the heart of this show you keep people interested petty and aaron oh man that's horrible uh appreciative yeah we love aaron and finally to our newest recruit erin we would be lost without you who else could we trust to remember every little detail Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. Yeah, this is going, this is so going south in our next playthrough. I can just see it. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. No way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. <laughs> you brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. I think the backgrounds <laughs> already look as creepy as possible. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first? That's Charles. weird how they would say that the because Thank you. we were told that he I went off shore in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what lights already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. 
We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Yumet shows up? Uh, alternative or uncertain? I'm gonna I'm gonna have a strong word with him. Absolutely. If he tells us to stop, I'm gonna be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone, grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Right. Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. Great. All right, well, we made it through dinner with as little hostility as we possibly could, although we have made a couple incorrect decisions. You know, that's just the nature of things. I mean, I need to title this playthrough blind, but in reality, it could be considered blind because I don't know everything that's going on. I think I titled my original TPAs blind for multiple playthroughs, but then I'm like, well, I just want to be honest. Hey, I already played through once. I do know what's going on somewhat. And besides, if you're Hello? following the playthroughs, Guy? you know what I've seen and what I haven't seen, right? What is this? What the heck is this? Use R to aim the direction of microphone to find the source of I've never done this before. Sounds like someone's crying. What was that? Don't hear it anymore. I hear my breathing very loudly. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. That was Holmes talking about how I want to be buried. And here's the hanging. Execution of H.H. H. Holmes. Yeah, so he, um, you know, you remember he said he wanted to be buried under cement. But why would we hear that recording? Oh, hello. That's not good. Stabbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not good at all. Try 
trying to... Sound like Demet arguing with his family. Again, why are we hearing these like recordings? What the heck was that? What the heck? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, Aaron's freaked out. I'm freaked out. <laughs> Definitely sound like someone's crying in pain. What the heck is going on here? God, what was that? What is that? What the heck is going on here? My don't be scared long. Dang it. I won't, I won't be scared, scared long. long. Oh. oh. I don't like the look of this at all. What the heck? Oh my god! Jesus! I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh my god. Damn it. Breakers. Yeah, let's turn on the flashlight. Hello? Mr. Demet? Great. Into the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. <laughs> oh, I remember this part. Make choices, Jamie. Make better choices. There was like a locked safe here that I didn't get open in time. Enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Killer Finale. Yeah, this is the H.H. Holmes hat that he bought. I think Moose got ahead of me here, so I didn't finish this sequence. Uh, dear Mr. Clark, Miss Bellcop has requested for the renovation hotel spa. Um, arrange a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. And then the crew died, right? Cost assessment. Five people.
Uh, another letter to Miss Abel Knapp from K. Schroeder. Following a discussion with Zark regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, where a review delays designed to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find overleaf a breakdown of the work as well as estimate for your total cost. The work can commence Tuesday, 13th of January. It'll take approximately 10 weeks with an estimated end date of Friday, March 24th. Description duration seven day weeks. Uh, extension strength of rooms, various remote receivers, overhaul of hotel pipe work, sale of various construction materials. So building things that make it so that it's easier to bug, I assume. More cameras, more audio. Doesn't work. Interesting. Stage of some kind. Now running around isn't always the best thing to do because he's in a missing. What's this? Press the big red button. <sighs> The breakers. But here's a hotel lobby. And I believe I went this way. It's locked. Okay, we've already been in here before. There was another way I think that I missed. So let me go backwards. Because there was something over here. Yeah, this is a thing. I wonder if any of my codes work that I found. I think the codes that we used were for cameras. Like 0028 was a camera for the um for the uh bar. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um I Yeah, all these codes I have are for uh the cameras, I think. 1573. Uh, what other numbers do I have? 1896. Uh, 7293. And then 6883. Okay, so yeah, those are all for the camera numbers. Not necessarily for a lock code. So I need to find that code somewhere. And I wasn't able to do it my first time through. Uh, staff notice, uh, hours have changed. Thursday open late. Lay looks 10 years younger, but how? The Columbus Spa? Digital lock installation, 0451. 0451. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Grand opening? Wait, wait, let me write this down. Uh, November 17th, 2017. Was that when this game came out? Yeah, this is, that's, that's when this, well, technically it was 2022. Uh, but this game was released on November 17th. Uh, we didn't get to play it till November 18th slash 19th at midnight. Um, but... Technically speaking, this game came out on Thursday, so pretty clever. Pretty clever. Will this open or will it be locked? No, it opens. Uh, P.F. Richardson, 
Life Insurance Specialties. Mr. Miss Mark Andrews, East 3rd Lighthouse, ill eligible, like ill eligible, day August 3rd, 2011. Dear Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. A codicil has been added, which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of the entire state is Mr. Richard Belknap. Really? We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for your records. Please remember, you can view any of your will or insurance documents at any time by logging into your online account. I wonder if Mr. Belknap um, altered someone's will. Okay, uh, zero Fahrenheit 451. Huh. I like a little Easter egg there. Classic Ray Bradbury. Thank God. Something from this century. Uh, okay. Kind of wire this system in on itself due to the shoddy equipment of this place. Follow the diagram and you'll be fine. Okay, so let's see. First, we can flip this. We can flip this. We can flip this. Flip that. Flip that. Easy peasy. Zero four five one. <laughs> Very well named trophy. Attention. Attention. This is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. Highways and heavy rainfall are expected by ten PM Sunday. Is that a recorded? Or is that real? I don't remember it like really storming out. Hey, I'm Central Time. Sounds like ghosts moaning. Oh, that doesn't look ominous at all. Hey, it's the Barbershop Quartet. Nope, that's not creepy at all. Nope, nope. He just dropped something. The cassette tape, probably of their song. Oh my god! Jesus. God, I hate animatronic. Oh, I can play this here. Oh, that's clever. I wouldn't have even thought of that. I'm glad she's smarter than I am. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Huh. Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Sounds like Charles. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honey pot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space and papers alongside ads for the expo. The rooms from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from Nebraska. It takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, 
And whoops, what do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. I know what happened. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. The whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet, all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was going to hear a thing. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want, but you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. So that's one more evidence that the guy Monday is the one behind everything. At the top right, at the very beginning of the tape, it says something like, uh, Holmes had the right idea, so you laid a honey trap, and the idea was that our trap was we wanted to know more about H.H. H. Holmes. The Morellos wrote books on it, so they came to learn more about H.H. H. Holmes. Um, we're all playing into this killer's game, as it were. Oh, hi, How Charles. Looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. <laughs> this looks great. Very gaslight. Don't remember mm, any of this. Grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This will be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Should be more than a few minutes. Approving. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. What the hell? That must have been Aaron. Aaron, black hey. that room. Hey, help! Well, somebody help me! I can't see a thing! I... Guys? Guys, please! I can barely see a thing. Um, instructive or distressed? Uh, don't panic. Get me out of here! I can't see a thing! The door is stuck! Break it open! It's not buzzing. Here, let me... I... I... can't... I can't breathe. Having an asthma attack. Um, I need my inhaler. Um, I need my, um, just open the door. Move, move, Charlie. I don't want to be more panicky, but the other one looked bad too. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. That's not helping any. Guys, I, I, I can't. Don't look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. Oh my God. Wait, a back door Who's opened there? up? <gasps> what? What? Guys, get me out of here! 
Frightened? Defensive. Uh, defensive, don't be frightened. Get, get away from me. He's got the inhaler. Uh, left is always right. Left is always right. Nope, left was not always right. He lured me in. No, no. Oh, he didn't kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use that. Use that. Use it. Okay. Easy, easy. In. Oh my God! He didn't kill me. And out. Oh, he just wanted to lock my hair. If we were playing Little Hope. I'd be very disturbed by that. Hey. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he... he was... Somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. No, no, no there was someone was else. not a dummy. He... he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not... Nothing bad happened, Aaron. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down. Get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Oh, I, I thought I thought she was dead. I, I'm not I, I'm not kidding. I, I literally thought we just I just killed Erin again. I was having a panic attack during that. I was like, oh my god, Erin, no. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Jumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. For the road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be... Frustrating to watch. Frustrating to play sometimes. <laughs> In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. Yeah, not very well. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Oh, don't worry. I'm, I I make plenty of poor choices on my own. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. No, no, we I know exactly what that saying. happened. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. And exit stage left are oh so confident and sure leader. What was that? <laughs> Charlie is thinking. <laughs> this looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something, anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. <sighs> It's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, okay? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. 
Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Hey, we gotta do something. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. I promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? Aw. I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie said. I like how yeah, they're believing Aaron through. now. That outweighs having a damn job. Mm -hmm. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. Promise. Yeah, they have no idea that this place could change. No, don't. <sighs> Sorry, just still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Demet. I'm scouting for shots. Really, if he dude? Pops up along the way. Great. Jesus, you really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. So that's a key. You know as well as I do. If we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. What does this say now? See, this house is 180. What happened here? And it said like what 178 earlier? No idea. What does that number represent? Here's a script. This is a script of their I if that grounds people would know where the met went. Basically, this is their um scene and uh there's notes uh, by Kate and Charles going back and forth on what they should do. That way's locked. That way's locked. We've already seen this. Don't need to see that again. Wait, what? So that door is open now. What is she talking about? Where is she at? Hey. Oh, she's over here. So we've already looked at this. Let's go through the door that we have been through. This one here. Jamie, where the blood is. Over here. Okay. Yeah. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, Charles. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. Could be a recording. Oh, I saw something right here. I'm gonna stop running. It's hard to hard to see things when you're running in this uh game sometimes. Okay, which way? You know, I always say left is always right. Well, left takes me this way. Let's go right for a change. Federal Bureau of Investigation. 
met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. Wait, wait, what happened to the vest? What happened to the vest? Oh. Okay, so again, some more background on this uh, Monday character. Got a coin over here, too. Two pips. Now let's go left. Oof. Lovely. Like a bloody glove? Was that an actual hand? Help. You hear that? Please. Help. The fuck? Help me. Please, please, help. Are you? I'll do anything. What happened? Are you okay? Oh, you shouldn't have stepped there. What the fuck? Stop. Look. Holy shit. It's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate, and this guy is getting run through by that thing. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit, give me your hand. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> What's happening? What did I do? Let me get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. Charlie, you were actually very brave there. Did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? Are you shitting me? We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Heck yeah. Right. On three. One, two, three. I don't think that's gonna work. Or try to find like a weapon or something. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? I think that house just moved. Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. <laughs> 
Hurt, it makes me feel better. Compliant. Maybe you're right. But you don't have to be an asshole about it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. Okay, got it's relationship fine. points at least. It's fine. This isn't a time or place to... I have to tell you something. I'll be your spirit crystal, baby. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job. Not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn. Murray, the skull. We love Murray. He wanted a partner. Sorry, That's my calendar reference there. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Provocative, you should have chased a dream. Confused. I want to provoke. Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Flip it? Uh, surprise. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I... I just... Uh, what do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Apprehensive, it just says for assertive. Um, God, what do I say? You should have said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Go for it. Left is always right. Bold. Well. <laughs> what? Uh, that that didn't help things. <laughs> <laughs> we better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Do you think they found Dumet? Charles seems hell bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. Helps give Kate. Wonder how much pure amethyst is going for online these days. Oh, she took it with her. Okay, so if uh, we go into a situation that freaking her out, we may be able to use that to calm ourselves down. Left is always right. Who's going around locking these doors? You met. It's a little helper in the yellow coat. This game is so silent, hilly, and the fact that everything is locked or broken. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. There's a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and... 
That's when, he, that's when he got her. It's okay. No, it's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here. Getting now. separated now. Come on, Mash. I think I did it. I can't hold this. Get the fuck out anywhere you can. Just get the fuck out now. Jamie! Charlie! Well, Charlie didn't get his what hand bashed this time, at least. I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. Uh, it isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. There has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space. Has to be. Oh. All right. Uh, what's going on? Demet, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Uh huh. I feel like I'm Let's going in circles. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really the Met. How come I never, how come I didn't get that earlier? So, the guy we met may have been Monday. And the guy in the mask could be Dumet. No. I don't know. Mother fucker. What? Brick wall. Keep going. Just like Holmes. I know. I don't want to think about it. I'm trying to map this in my head. Uh, I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear creepy kid voice too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? Okay. What's this? Oh, it's just a coin. Charlie, come here. How's it get this open? <laughs> oh, is this the incinerator? Oh, I don't know what to do here. I was player two. I don't know what to do. We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel. Stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room. How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right, of course. Natalie Morello. Oh, are you. Oh my god, that's her remains? Uh, oh. 
Oh my god. Holy shit. It's, it's a fucking body. You think? Meet the last party that visited this hotel. He doesn't know that. Maybe it's... Fuck. You're probably right. No, I am right. Oh. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one springs out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, me! Uh oh. Ah. Oh. Charlie? Fuck. I know somebody was in there. R2? I... I... can't... I can't breathe. Oh, she's reco she's playing back the recording. Oh, come on. Nothing else? There was somebody in there. Oh, that's not good. They gotta hear this. Wait. Oh, this ain't good at all. Oh, Aaron, I'm worried for you. Change though, because if you want to kill her, why didn't Guys? kill her earlier? Hello? Hey. Oh, why didn't he kill Charlie earlier? Charlie? Mark? Jamie? Huh. Oh, come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to use the asthma thing there. Shoot, that's why it appeared on the screen. They only gave me like a quick second to look at it, unfortunately. Treatment for what? Oh, that is that treat. Yeah, remember I said this? Silver Ash Institute. That's that's not creepy at all. Nope. Oh, what the hell? Can we not touch the creepy animatronics, please? Oh, Jesus. Oh. That is gross. I always hate pulling things. 
and super massive games. Oh, well, that wasn't so bad. But we know that was an edited tape. But why are they trying well, to do this? Fuck you, Jamie. Who's the cutie in that pic you posted? Totally your type. You're so predictable. Who, Aaron, please? My type is bad and not a timid woodland creature. She's shy? She's clueless. Her face always looks lost and confused. Again, this has to be a trap. Like, why, why, why would they do that though? H.H. Holmes? There's another tape recorder over there. this time you trying to get on my good side or something yeah I'll, uh, I think I'll save them what no questions what's going on with you Monday oh, you seem different ah. <laughs> I see that glimmer in your eye you little devil I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. You know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got Holmes for 27. But we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish I'd had the time to try and beat that. Sure, they know about those nice realtor ladies. They got families, after all. But the numbers the DA is asking me about, I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. Does anyone notice if they go missing? My father always told me to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watched that first girl bleed out. I call it art. That's my signature on society. It's not murder. It's an aesthetic response to what this world has made me. Ask people to list serial killers, and they'll drop five, ten on you before they can think of any more. Ask them to name the detectives that caught those killers. No one is going to say a damn thing. No one knows. No one cares. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on t-shirts. No one gives a shit. <laughs> I've left my mark on the world. Have you? Huh. But that's weird because he said Mr. Monday. So it looks like Dumet and Monday are working together. Banish the demon drink with Dr. Holmes' miracle cure. For too long, a predilection for alcohol has been stigmatized purely in terms of weakness of character and absence of moral fiber. Yet, startling breakthroughs by renowned physicists have demonstrated that alcoholism is an ailment such as syphilis and cholera, and can only be successfully treated as such. But although alcohol aversion remedies are becoming available, the greed of the manufacturers put the majority behind the purse of the common man. 
particularly when the common man has already been drew to the brink of ruin by his unfortunate affliction. Such dire public need has now been answered by the esteemed Chicago practitioner, Dr. Henry H. Holmes, who at his personal expense had established the Silver Ash Institute, bringing affordable therapies to the drunken masses, although the good doctor is achieving remarkable results with those who pass through the doors of his clinic. At the Silver Ash Institute, there is no recourse to prayer, see illegible, plea with the Almighty. Can't read that. Uh, the only law is submission to Dr. Holmes in his miracle cure. A patently yet highly affordable compound is secret ingredients, including pure silver drawn from the mines of North Dakota. When ingested thrice daily for a program of four weeks, this cure is sent to exercise the patient of his prior ink Precious ap appetites. Indeed, following one month's treatment at the Silver Ash Institute under the strict instructions of Dr. Holmes, there will be little of your bad old self remaining by the time you depart. Silver Ash Institute. Looks like Charlie's voice is bugged on screen. Aaron, hello? Jamie. What the heck? Jamie? Aaron? You there? Uh... Hello? Can you hear me? What is happening? What? You're not safe, Aaron. How are- You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. The view is what's going on. Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't- Just listen. Listen. There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now, just trust me, okay? <gasps> Absolutely. He knows we're in here, too. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't know. Maybe there's two people at play in this hotel. Dumet and, um... Monday. I am so excited to see what's going to happen on Ruthless Valley Run. Like, Charlie? just to do all the hey? things that you know you shouldn't Hello? do. Where the hell are they? I'm very much looking forward to that. Somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Okay, check this out. What is going on? Are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. That's so oh, creepy. Oh, All of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. What the fuck is this? Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. Reassuring? Disturbed. This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, but if I see Dumet, I'm gonna fuck him up. <laughs> oh. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Uh, 
I was expecting the head to snap at you or something. Is there anything on the outside here? I don't see anything on the outside. Jesus. It looks just like him. No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. That's a really good point. I mean, yeah, I meant to look at the other one. Aaron. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Watch out. Don't Thank swing God. unless you know you're gonna swing at something. I'm so glad to see you guys. We have to get the hell out of here. Uh, glad you're okay. Oh my God. When that wall shut, I... I'm just glad you're okay. The Met killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. The Met? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? <laughs> Perfect bodies timing. Dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies it up! Dead. Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's something creepy about that. It's fake. A prop or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. Oh. Oh, it's really the way that went over her the actual eye, too. Much. God. Let's get out of here. Actually looked like her own eye was coming out. What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. Two men. You want to play around? Get out here right now. Let's fucking play. Charlie Basement, eleven fifty two. I was about to say, did they just show us him lying there and then he's gonna black out and then we're gonna be somewhere else? That would have been weird. I've gotta get out. Find a way out of the basement. Key. Oh shit. Maybe I should have touched that key. No, it looks like it's like you had to. Cage key.
What's this? Hutch is always right. No, wait, wait. Chicago killer victim one. Abdominal injuries. Victim's ear was removed by a severely sharp object, possibly scalpel. John Doe number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean and oh. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. Oh. That would have created a lot of noise in this. This guy is learning. Oh. This guy is learning. KD. Logbook. Uh, most of the crew arrived at the island, moved all the equipment up to the hotel, met with the hotel proprietor, Mr. Belknap. I didn't mean to turn the page. I, I used the wrong analog stick. Uh, on site, it says has begun. Excavation has been begun in the hotel basement. Work on the first and second floor is going to be suspected. Some equipment has gone missing. Call the reports. Uh, James Kelly has left the project. Left a note sending an emergency. Didn't contact me directly. I wonder if that's when he was killed. I'm assuming these guys were killed, right? Uh, first set of moving walls have been implemented. Acquired a copy of blueprints from Mr. Belknap. Started work on basement ceiling supports. Ill-eligible, ill-eligible, ill-eligible. Uh, Bobby has left me high and dry here. Second oil guide to leave me on this project. Ben Ren Bar renovation began. Uh, plumbing has been completed. Second floor renovation will be complete next week. Uh, all moving walls completed. Uh, some receivers, signal receivers installed. More reports of missing equipment. Third replacement request placed this month. Project completed at great date. Proprietors requesting additional work on the spot area beneath the hotel. Uh, only a small skeleton crew are still on the island, so we'll conduct initial cost assessment. I uh, receive correspondence to Kelly, skeleton crew remaining. Laura, Monica, Frank, Ryan, and I will move forward with work on spot until crew returns. Ryan hasn't left me a note saying his mom isn't well. I'm sure she died years ago. We'll see if Miss Belknap will allow me to contact him. Laura finished installing the Tanoi system with Mr. Belknap. He said she wasn't feeling well afterwards, so he offered her one of the rooms to sleep right off. I haven't received any correspondence with Kelly about where the rest of the crew are. What is going on? Laura has to come out of her room and Monica has just left. I can't contact Kelly. Tomorrow I'll return to the mainland with Frank and Laura. This job is ridiculous. What? I hear footsteps. What the hell was that? I thought that was a person. That, that kind of freaked me out. Like, the edge looked like someone holding up a gun or something. But in reality, it was just, uh, the drawer. Video camera. That was a bad idea. Would you like to play a game, Charlie? The heck? It's like a person with some. You fell down the trap tonight. We 
if I can, I'll send someone back for you. Seems like we got one switch after another. What is this? The people. Hmm. Someone was watching me, I guess. Is there a button just to open all the gates up at once? Can shimmy through here. Okay, jump over here. Something back here. Can I use my card? There we go. Just a coin? Well, technically it was two coins, but... Fire. Yeah, maybe we should pull the switch. What the heck? What the heck just happened? Investigate the screaming. Can we not investigate the screaming? Come on, be brave, Flatless Bird. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a scared little birdie when it comes to crazy things like this. Oh, it's our cigarettes. Praise the Lord. We must have taken them out of our bag. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. Can you not light up, please, in a dangerous oh, area? Oh, great. I know normally I would have stopped like 10 minutes ago, but I really want to get to the end of of this sequence be before we uh, adjourn for the day. Praise the Lord. What's he doing? I can't wait to watch what Moose's decisions here were. Because I had a choice. I wonder if he had a choice. I'm about to find out, aren't I? Great, so everything's shut. And here's the smoke. Oh, 
this is bad. This is really bad. Whatever you do, don't light up your cigarette. So bright. You need to get the heck out of there, Charlie. You need to get the heck out. Force the door or lift a grate. The door is not going to get open. Left is always right. Left is always right. Let left always be right. Come on, open that grate. Come on, get yourself out of there. Charlie! Yes! Yes! It's coming loose! Charlie! Come on! Don't, come, come, come on! Get, go! Alert the great! Come on! You, you, you've made progress on it! Keep going! Come on, man, you got this. You got this. I believe in you. Yes. Is that going to save us, though? Or do we just bury ourselves into a ground? Do we just cook ourselves? Charles! Charlie dead? I have no idea, but we're gonna have to find out next time. I'm sorry, I don't want to be a tease, but I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. And. Oh, partner, let's play The Devil in Me for the PS5. So long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself never let the world tell you any different much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird